weathering, erosion, and deposition. Today we're going to focus on two teaks, a 7th grade and an 8th grade teak. We can analyze the effects of weathering, erosion, and deposition on the environment in eco-regions of Texas. We can interpret interpret topographic maps and satellite views to identify land and erosional features and predict how these features may be reshaped by weathering. So I'm going to play a video for you on weathering, erosion, and deposition. It's a sock. Different types of rock are found all over the ground. What started as a rock can become beaten down. It happens every day, whether we notice or not. Because it happens slowly, the rock cycle is an afterthought. Weathering, erosion, and deposition Out of the sediment end up in this position The force of gravity is always pulling things down Water, wind, and ice are always giving rocks a good breakdown Rain beats down on surfaces and weathers parts away Waves pound constantly and they create more sand each day. Rivers cut their valleys and erode the parts of rock along. This constant changing of the land is why we need to listen to this song. Atmospheric changes cause the air to start to move. Sometimes this wind is constant and it rocks and weathers grooves. Sometimes it picks up sand and carves the rock surface away. Because it happens slowly, we don't notice changes every day. Weathering, erosion, and deposition. Out of this sediment and up in this position The force of gravity is always pulling things down Water, wind, and ice are always giving rocks a good breakdown When the temperature drops to 32 we get some ice and snow For years glaciers can form and through valleys they bulldoze This ice gets into cracks and rock expands and breaks the rock down. You can see these ice effects on roads and driveways all across the town. You can see the evidence across the surface of the earth. Terminal moraines and valley lakes show that glaciers are at work. Floodplains and river deltas show what deposition can do. Places on the planet, these changes affect me and you. Weathering, erosion, and deposition. How did this sediment end up in this position? The force of gravity is always pulling things down. Water, wind, and ice are always giving rocks a good breakdown. Okay, so I like that song on weathering, erosion, and deposition. So today what you're going to do is click on this blue hyperlink to review weathering, erosion, and deposition. Your Think Central tab must be open from your portal. So if you go to your portal, you have to open the textbook in order to open that link. So click on the Think Central Middle School Science textbook and keep that tab opened okay let me just let it pop up okay so i have my textbook tab open and what you want to do then is click on this hyperlink and it will bring you right to the textbook where i want you to review so you're just going to click start and it will give you a nice review on weathering erosion and deposition so you in, learned a lot about I'm just going to pause it, and you can just forward your pages by clicking on this arrow button. There's 18 pages, so it's just again a review uh, that I would like that you click through. 
So going back after your review, the next thing is you can pull up your assignment in Schoology. It's a guiding reading assignment on weathering, erosion, and deposition. You're going to read pages 370 to 381 in your textbook and fill in the blanks on your assignment. Okay, and so if we go into the assignment, here's your guided reading. So when you open that, you can actually click on this hyperlink and it will bring you right to page 370 of your textbook. And what you're going to do is just read the pages. If you would like that so you can read it better, you just want to use this little magnifier to make the, the page big enough for you to answer the questions. So it's just a matter of reading and then filling in the blanks. And each one is hyperlinked that will bring you to that page. Okay, so um, that's what I had for you today. I hope that's helpful.